Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching at home. How you guys doing? You may or may not believe me, but that's not an applause track. There are people here. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. We have Danny Lutman here. He's an improviser, actor, reality show development producer. He came in from LA. He's here. We also have the music of Dallas Jones and Molly Healy. <clears throat> and we have a great title sponsor, OTC. And thanks to our friends at Neighbor Studio, we made a great commercial for them. Check it out. Here at OTC, there are a lot of smart college students, but we're going to see if they can recognize OTC president Hal Higdon. Let's do it, Hal. <laughs> Who's this man? Hey, do you know who this is? That's a good question. He's a handsome fellow. Businessman. What kind of business does he have? A law firm. I want to say sure. a doppelganger of George Costanza, but that's not <laughs> it. <laughs> George Costanza. You might work here at OTC, somewhere yeah. higher up in the office. Higher up? How yeah. high? Um, maybe a dean. That's the president of the university. What's the name? Do you know? Hal Higdon. Very good. You're the first one to get it right. <laughs> He let us just go around and do that. <laughs> Dr. Higgin approved it, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, I'm just excited about the show tonight because we have so much fun, but mostly we have Dave Smith over here. <laughs> you look sharp, Dave. Thank you. I like your blazer. Thank you. We went shopping and got we, it for him together. We did. We did go shopping together. <laughs> That's the truth. It's true. We did. And you got that shirt? I got this shirt that I'm wearing currently. And you're wearing my tie. And you let me borrow this tie. And uh, you've got your toothbrush at my place. And, uh, you know, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's do things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed, these things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. All right. These are things I've noticed, uh, and they're probably dumb. It's a horrible setup. I've noticed that I thought of a new name for an anger medication. It's called Damitol. <laughs> Honey, give me some Damitol. <laughs> I've noticed that the only reboot I want to see is a reboot of the time where a movie is made and then never made again. <clears throat> I've noticed that blow dryers in public bathrooms are a horrible replacement for toilet paper. <laughs> I immediately regret making that motion. Can we edit that out? Okay. I've noticed that math and I've noticed that mathematicians don't know where pi ends, and that also describes my Thanksgiving. <clears throat> this Thanksgiving, I ate 3.14159. I've noticed that an out of order sign placed on a stall at work means I have a private bathroom now. <clears throat> and finally, I've noticed that Blu-ray sounds like a futuristic weapon that makes people sad. <laughs> things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. All right. 
So uh, one of the things I've actually observed is so many great photos on Instagram. And uh, you know, everyone's taken so many pictures now, and so many of them are so good, particularly like all these great women who are fashionable and stuff. And so we wanted to look into how that gets accomplished a little bit. So here is a video. Take a look. My name's Jeff, and I'm an Instagram husband. <laughs> Behind every cute girl on Instagram is a guy like me. And a brick wall. My name's Trey. I'm an Instagram husband. I've had to delete all of the apps off my phone just to make more room for more photos. Hi, I'm Nate, and I'm an Instagram husband. I love my life so much. My job in pictures is to make her look good. I want you to just take a picture like, like higher, no higher, higher, higher. <laughs> Babe, higher. I'm basically a human selfie stick. Go. Last year for Christmas, I actually got her a selfie stick. And then she got mad at me because she thought I was just trying to get out of taking photos. Of course, I'm trying to get out of taking your f***ing photo. What are you doing in here? Taking a picture of all your stuff? Yeah, this is a good moment. I support that! Oh wait, just a second. I should probably comment on this. It helps me out if I'm the first one to comment. Cute! It's become a pretty big problem. Um, we take so long to get anywhere because we're taking pictures of our feet. Oh, shoe pick, shoe pick. No, this one's better. No, no, stop, stop. Move your foot. Okay, can we hold hands? One more, one more. I like this leaf right here. Yeah, we used to eat our food. Now we just take pictures of it. No! You can't do that! I haven't taken a shot of that yet! God, we have to show everybody how much we enjoy our lives together. Yeah, it's really enjoyable. If you or someone you know is an Instagram husband, help is out there. Go to InstagramHusband.com and see how millions of men just like you have found hope. I'm an Instagram husband. I'm an Instagram husband. I'm an Instagram husband. I'm an Instagram husband. Babe. Find help today at InstagramHusband.com. It's just so true. It's so true. Hey, we'll be back with Danny Lutman. Stay where you are. That comedy bit brought to you by Oz Air. Guest booking provided by Big Salad. Hey, welcome back. Sorry for that dumb commercial. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> that previous commercial was awesome. Hey, we have a great guest coming up. We also have a great guest sponsor. Boop, boop. Our guest sponsor tonight is MissouriTrafficTickets.com. If you get a ticket, just click it. Hey, we have a great guest. Tonight, we have a man who flew in from Los Angeles. He is an improviser, actor, reality show development producer. Please give it up for Danny Lutman. Danny! something different about you. Yeah? Uh-huh. Is it because we bought these jeans together yesterday? <laughs> I just shop we with did. my friends all the time. We did, yeah. I flew in and he's like, uh, let's go to Marshall's. <laughs> I was like, okay. 
Um, no, you, uh, what is it? I can't quite put my, oh, yes, I can. Won an Emmy, guys. Emmy nominated, it's unbelievable. Can unbelievable. I should be asking you questions. Let me ask you, can I have a favor? Uh, let me ask you, uh, how does it feel to be uh, an Emmy winner? Can I say, when I texted you to tell you that, it was a typo. It's a yammy. <laughs> it's the sweet potato. Now growers. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. Association. Oh, my bad. Everyone's all disappointed now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yammies Let's, are hard to win, though, guys. Yammies? Yammies are hard to win. <laughs> we had to go up against Idaho. I know! <laughs> Man. Those spuds. So let's talk about... <laughs> let's talk about this. Very few people have made two appearances on the show, and yet you have. Why? Because you are a friend first who is willing to fly out here. Also because you're worthy of it. Aww. <laughs> this guy. This guy. We're just buttering each other's bread. You're Trust amazing. <laughs> hey. You're the best Yammy Award winner I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Second time, um, your crowd got bigger and better. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. We, uh, we hired you, no, we, we had you come on just to do a promo <laughs> for the show. You're That's doing right. very well. That's right. But you do your own cool things. I do. I do cool things, guys. <laughs> um, we met while I was living in Los Angeles. And yes. We did improv together. Yes, we did improv together at the Upright Citizens Brigade. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it was unbelievable. It was love at first sight. Um, a little bromance. Mm -hmm. And um, why are you laughing? It's true, guys. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so we, we, we improvised together and became fast friends, and mm -hmm. then you left Los Angeles, le le with a T, left Los Angeles, moved to Springfield, and then got a television show. I got, I'm the only guy <laughs> in the world to ever move from Los Angeles to Missouri yeah. to get on TV. So guess what? Guess what? I'm moving to Springfield, y'all! <laughs> I want a show! I want a yammy! He's um, yeah, no, I, and then, uh, and then I have a cool job, too, which is, which, which is pretty cool. You develop television shows. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Um, so I'm a development producer, and I work specifically with, uh, unscripted is the word if you're too lazy to say reality shows. Um, and unscripted really just means that it's not scripted. It's, we literally take a camera and follow people around. Um, and so I help develop, uh, new formats for television shows for networks. I help develop, I help find talent. Uh, and then see if there's a show within their, their organic world. So mm -hmm. I, I build a show around them. Yeah. Um, and then we take that idea and, and we, we bring it to networks. And, and Well, we produce a sizzle reel, which is sort of like a, a pilot episode mm -hmm. of television. And we take, so I always equate it to like the ESPN Sports Center highlights. Like instead of watching the eight hour baseball game, because really, um, right. you get, you get the, the highlight reel, right? Yeah. So this is sort of like the highlight reel of what an episode would be. And then, we take that, the sizzle reel, or the, the pilot, or the proof of concept, whatever mm -hmm. the word is, and, and um, we take it to networks and see, you know, who's interested in making some television. And people are. Some people are. You haven't yeah. gotten fired yet, so people seem to be, you <laughs> seem to be doing all right. No one has caught on that I'm still working there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great, it's great. So, but you, you, second time here, you've kind of uh, hung out in Missouri now. Yeah. Uh, is it, in your eyes, different from Los Angeles? Um, traffic is a little better. Mm -hmm. um, we, and you were very cold last night. Yes, and, it's, and it got colder. Um, definitely colder than Los Angeles. And the people, guys, the people are so much better here. Can I just say that? Can I just say that? Is that okay? Can I say that? I'm, I'm not buttering up the audience. I, I promise you, you people are so much better. Uh, <laughs> all of you. All of you. Every single one of you. Um, yeah, it was, it, it was funny. I have to say this because we were driving today, um, and, uh, 
He's like, oh, I'm sorry about the traffic. And I'm like, uh, you're going 50. <laughs> so, um, okay, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was a school zone, so I, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to slow down. Yeah. We had to get Elias to school on time. Right. So. But one thing that's fascinating about you, because uh, we, we did, took improv classes together and that sort yep. of thing, but uh, you're, not many people have done what you've done, which is take classes at all these great places. Yeah. yeah. Which places? So I, I've taken classes, I've gone through each of these programs, so not just taken classes, but I've actually moved through the program. I went through mm -hmm. uh, Groundlings, yep. which is, I mean, an L.A. staple. Right. Unbelievable Legendary people come place. out of there. Yeah. Legendary people. Um, Groundlings, Second City, you may have heard of it. Mm -hmm. you may have heard of Second City. And you perform with Second City. And I perform with Second City. Um, and um, right now, um, I was doing a, um, a main stage show and then have since uh, not done main stage shows. And now I'm on, I'm on a show called The Really Awesome Improv Show, which is a, a kid's it. show. Yeah. It's really awesome, and it's an improv show. Um, <laughs> And it's, uh, it's every Saturday at noon with a rotating cast. And it's a family show. It's a fun and, fr and, and fun family. It's for families. It's for families. It's a fun and family-oriented German families? Show. Is that, that a frau? That's frau. Uh, frau families. Families. Um, families. And it's, it's a kid show that um, LA Magazine called and, and gave the award to as the best kids comedy show in Los Angeles. Which is, I know. Yeah. So it's wait. It's amazing. And then, yeah. It was L.A. Magazine, or it was L, a magazine? Um, E-L-L-E? It was L.A. Magazine, L-A-M-A-G-A-Z-I-N-E. -A -A -A. That was a test. And I passed. But you're, you're, Barely. But you're, with, you're performing with Nerdist. Yeah, so I, I went through Second City, and I'm performing there, and then I went through, I went through the Upright Citizens Brigade, mm -hmm. um, which was great, and, then, um, uh, and now they have a new school Called uh, the Nerdist School. It's sort of a, it's under the Nerdist brand. You guys have heard of Chris Hardwick. It's under. Yeah. Yep. Um, he's not here. Stop clapping for him. <laughs> uh, no, he's great. I don't know. Um, but he's great. So I've heard. Um, but under his brand, he opened up an improv school, brand new yeah. in Los Angeles. Only been open, I think, maybe a little over a year or so. Yeah. Um, great community, great people. Um, and that's the Nerdist, the Nerdist School. And I went through that program, and I'm currently on a house team performing um, every other Sunday. Well. Thank you for... Thank you, one person. Thank you for coming here to perform this little bit right now. Yeah, That's all the time we got. Oh, no. Danny Levin will be back <laughs> with Dallas Jones and Molly Healy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandevoort. Musical guests brought to you by Brian Properties. Welcome back. We have great musical guests here tonight. If you've heard them before, you love them. It's Dallas Jones and Molly Healy. Give it up for Dallas and Molly. <laughs> Oh. 
10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to Crosslines. We sponsor the family. We'll see you next week. Catering provided for the Mystery Hour by Big Whiskeys.